Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Kingdom Come Deliverance. My name's Camel and today I'll be showing you where to find the hidden treasure for treasure maps 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. Once you find and loot all of these five secret hidden treasure locations, you will gain amazing items that you can use if you like, but will also have a total value of over 19,000 gold. And to be clear, you don't actually need to have the treasure maps to find the treasure. So if you don't have the maps, don't worry, that's what this guide is for. Timestamps for each of the treasure maps can be found down in the description along with links to my social media and to my other Kingdom Come Deliverance guides. Be sure to check them out. Now firstly, before setting off, what we'll need is a shovel. The easiest way to get one is at the Ratai Mill, where you exit the prologue. It's right here next to this cart, and it's yours for the taking. So now, let's go and get the treasure. So in the last treasure map video, we of course ended on treasure map 10, so let's begin this one with treasure map 11. All right, as we can see, this is quite a way to the west of Letichko, seemingly inside a cave. Now this one is actually quite tricky to find because if you go to the cave that is marked on the treasure map, while there is a cave there, it's not the cave that has the treasure. So instead, we'll have to go to a cave much further to the south next to the river and this is the cave with the treasure. On the map we can see here that it is marked as an interesting site, and it is kind of between Sasso and Letichko, and if we have a closer look at the map, we can see that it is right here, just north of the river, kind of where the base of the trees starts showing on the map there. So once here, walk inside the cave and there will be a sack. Open it, and here we have treasure map number 11's treasure. So first up there is a Lazarus potion. These are actually brilliant because they will heal you fully and also cure hangovers, so they're very useful. Next we have the Noble's Shoes. You probably won't wear these. They're not that valuable either, but they do have a value of 105.7, so you can sell those. Next we have the Odd Die. Personally, I don't gamble, so uh, it's no use to me, unless I'm playing Monopoly or something of the sort, but this die does have a greater chance of landing on odd sides. Next we have the Open Bassinet. It's not one of the better bassinets we can find in these treasures, so you'll probably want to sell it, or if you are starting the game, this is quite a nice piece for you to have, but it does have a value of 425.2 gold. And finally we have the Yu Hunting Bow. A damage of 64 is actually really quite high, as Yu is the best possible uh, wood material for any bow in the game. So this is the top tier hunting bow, although there is a U longbow that is better and was in the last treasure map video. But you can use this if you like or you can sell it and it has a value of 374.5. So all up, this treasure map 11 treasure has a total value of 1065.4. That is the lowest valued treasure map so far in the series and will be in this video. So you guessed it, after 11 we have treasure map number 12. This is a pretty interesting map. Um, so as we can see it is to the southeast of Ratai. It's very much so on the edge of the map. It also appears to be marked at some kind of house or something of the sort. So if we head southeast from Ratai and head through the woods, we will have to walk up a giant hill and through a rather thick but beautiful forest. Soon enough in the distance we'll see a kind of dilapidated cottage. This is where treasure map 12's treasure is. So on the map we can see that we are to the southeast of Ratai and it is marked as an interesting site. There is also a woodland garden here. And if we have a closer look at the map, this will help you pinpoint exactly where this is. If you see, there's a small building to the north next to the river, and this can pretty much be found to the direct south of that in the forest. So once you find the old cabin over in the corner, there will be a hard lock chest. This is where the treasure is. Now if your lock picking isn't up to scratch to open hard chests, I do have a lock picking guide for you. So now that we have it open, let's have a look at the loot. All right, firstly we have the decorated riding boots. These are quite nice, especially if you want to wear light boots or add some charisma to your character. These are great, or if you want to sell them, you can sell them for 647 gold. Next we have the Falchion, La Falchion, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, it's probably an Italian word or something. Uh, it does have a damage of 43, which isn't amazing, it's not bad, but there's definitely better swords out there. Like in the last treasure map video, we got St. George's sword, which is the best sword in the game. So check that out if you like. And of course, if you don't want to use it, you can sell it for 405.5 gold. Next we have the Knight's Spurs, again not the best, I mean I think the Gold Spurs are the best, which we did get in my best horse guide, but they have a value of like 3.2 thousand, and as we can see these only have a value of 554, which is still a good value, but when you compare it to the other Spurs, the Knight's Spurs aren't brilliant. But if you don't have any Spurs at all, these are great, clearly, because you're filling a slot that wasn't filled. And finally we have the Lucky Playing Die, it's got a value of 50, and if it's lucky or not, well that's up to fate. 
which doesn't exist, so it is up to luck. Again, quite a meager find. Now this does have a total value of 1,656.5 gold. Again, not good, and is actually the second worst find so far in this series, only bested by the one we just found earlier. Alright, so let's bolster the bank account, shall we? Let's move on to map 13. This is actually quite near map number 12, which we just got. As we can see, it's roughly to the east of Ratai and to the southeast of Newhoff. There does appear to be a cliff and a house marked on the map as well. So if we walk into the woods to the southeast of Newhoff, we'll be able to find a path that leads north. This is quite a steep path, and this house is actually quite difficult to find. But after rummaging through some of the shrubs and through some of the bushes, we will pop out and spot an old cottage or cabin with some interesting stuff around it. This is of course where the treasure is. On the map we can see that it is to the east of Ratai and basically just to the pure south of Newhoff. And if we take a closer look at the map we can see it is at the top of the cliffs here and it is marked as an accident. So once at the cabin head on inside and in the northern corner of the cabin we will find an easy locked chest. Once you have it open let's take a look at the booty. So we have Agile as a Weasel, Volume 4. This is the final skill book for agility. Now you can keep this and then use it when you learn how to read. Personally, my agility is already maxed out, so I don't need it. But even then, if you do want to collect books, go ahead, keep it, or you can sell it for 1300 gold. Thank you very much. Next we have the first actual gold we've gotten in this whole video, 349.7 of it. So that's good, and we have the Noble Quirus. This isn't the best Quirus in the game. It's probably like fourth best, fifth best, something like that. But it is quite good, and again, if you don't want to use it, you can sell that sucker for 2,500 gold. Next we have the Noble Sword. Now this is actually the best short sword in the game. While there are long swords with higher damage, in terms of the short sword class, this is the best one in the game. So if you're not feeling particularly tall on any given day, use the short sword. And if you don't want to use it at all, it has a value of 1.6 thousand, so you can sell that. Next we have the Nobleman's Boots. Um, you can wear these if you like. When you're talking to high up people in castles and stuff, it might be good to chuck on to get your charisma up. Or, again, you can sell them for 1.1 thousand gold. Thanks very much. We have another odd die. Uh, it's got a value of 50 like all the die, and it also has a greater chance of landing on odd sides. And finally we have the recipe for Aesop Potion or Aesop Potion. Once you learn how to read, you can use this and learn how to make that potion. Or you can sell it for 200 gold. Now in total value, the treasure for treasure map number 13 has the highest in the series so far. Sitting in at 7,292.2 gold worth of stuff in this single chest. A very good find. And after 13, we have 14. Treasure map 14. Now this is quite easy to find, as we can see it is to the south of Newhoff and it is where two rivers or creeks meet, next to some bushes and trees. So if we head into the luscious fields to the south of Newhoff, follow the rivers down and where they meet, we will find a bunch of trees and a bunch of bushes. More specifically though, nestled away is a grave, surrounded by some beautiful flowers. This is what we're looking for. So as we can see on the map, it is to the southeast of Newhoff, and it is marked as a grave. And on a closer map, we can see that it is right here, again, where the two rivers or creeks meet up. So once you are here, of course, dig the grave up. This is why we needed to bring a shovel, so we can dig the grave to get access to the loot. Now while there is a corpse in here, if that does alarm you, don't worry, turn around and there's actually a sack and that's where the loot is. So you're not technically stealing loot from a corpse, you're stealing it from very next to a corpse. Anyway, let's take a look at the stuff in here. Okay, so we've got the Aachen decorated Chaucers. These aren't actually that good. If you don't have any at all, I mean it's great to fill a slot that wasn't filled before, but in terms of the other ones that we've got in previous treasure map videos, these aren't that good. So I'd probably suggest that you just sell them for 530.2 gold. Next we have the decorated hunting sword. Now this is the second best hunting sword in the game, only bested by the noble's hunting sword. But I mean, if you do want to do a very specific hunter only Henry uh, playthrough of Kingdom Come Deliverance, then yeah, the decorated hunting sword could be a good first weapon to use for you. All you need is a shovel to get it. And if you don't want to use it, you can sell that for 605.5 gold. Next we just have 336.5 Groshen. Very nice, very easy. Uh, then we have a necklace worth a thousand gold. Brilliant. We've got more noble shoes. Again, you probably won't use these, so you can sell them for 105.7 gold. Next we have the recipe for Bane Potion. 
I actually don't know what this does, but again, if you want to learn to read, you can then read this and learn how to make that potion if you do want to use those potions or have an infinite supply of them. Now, if you're not interested in that, you can sell it for 540 gold. Pretty good. And finally, we have the unpopular die with a value of 50 gold. This one goes perfectly with my opinion that Morrowind's the best Elder Scrolls game. So in total, the treasure from Treasure Map 14 has a total value of 3,240.9 gold. Not amazing, but not terrible. And finally, of course, after 14, we have Treasure Map 15. Now we can see that it is quite far to the southwest of Newhoff, or it is quite near the northeast of Millevoizek's Mill. Now finding this one is both really easy, but then finding the treasure is really hard. So if we walk into the woods to the north, east of uh, Milovoizek's mill, eventually we'll find a path. It is a very steep place, so it is kind of hard to get around. If we follow the path up, we'll find some wooden stairs and then a totally destroyed house. This is where the treasure is. Now on the greater map, we can see that it is marked as an interesting site. It's kind of in between Ledich Co and Newhoff, or again, just to the northeast of Milovoizek's mill. And if we take a closer look at the map, this will help you pinpoint exactly where this is. But it is quite easy to find because it's a giant, dilapidated, broken house. Now what you want to do is walk past the shovel and under the cliff, there is actually a completely unmarked area that you can dig at. That's why it's hard to find. I'd actually found this house about three times before, checked it over and thought there was nothing here. So just keep poking around the ground until you find the dig site. So now we have it open, let's have a look. All right, first up we have the sea die, I think it's called, with a value of 50. Now this has the weird description of the second in line of the demonic die. Don't know what that means, but I'll definitely be using it. Next we have 314.7 gold, thank you. We have another Lazarus potion. Again, these are great, fully healed and cure your hangover. I might need one tomorrow. Or you can sell it for 110 gold. Now we have the Noble's Dark Shoes. These are actually pretty good if you want to sneak around because they're so dark, it makes it harder for people to spot you. But because they're also Noble's Shoes, they give you a lot of charisma and people will treat you better. So it's kind of win-win, unless you're in a battle and getting hit on the toes with maces, then Noble's Shoes aren't going to help you much. So in that situation, you can sell them for 941.9 gold. Next, we have the Old Family Heirloom. This has a damage of 48, not the best, but not the worst either. Now that Noble Sword we found earlier that was the best short sword in the game, well, this is the second best short sword in the game, the Old Family Heirloom. Now, if you don't want to use it and you want to use a better sword, then you can, of course, sell this for 1,800 gold gold. Next we have the Plate Jack Died. This isn't that good, really. And there's definitely way better armor. I mean, even better armor that we found in this video. So you probably want to sell this for 933.5 gold. And finally, we have Silence is Golden and Other Myths, Volume 4. Don't forget that because this means it's the master level version of this and it is a speech skill book. So you'll need to learn how to read. And once you've done that, then you can read the book and get a level up in speech from the book. Now, if you're not into reading like myself, you can get a hefty sum of 1,300 gold from selling it. So you can do that if you like. Now, all up, the treasure from Treasure Map 15 has a combined total value of 5,540.4, and it's the second best sum in this video. So provided you've found and looted all five of the secret hidden Treasure Map locations that I showed you in this video, you will have collected a delicious sum of gold, a stockpile of very powerful weapons, armor, jewelry, clothing, books, and other bits and bobs with a combined total value of 19,065.4 gold. You'll also have your choice of amazing and in some cases, the best items of their class in the game. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Camel, and this has been my guide for Treasure Map 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. More specifically, though, the locations of the hidden treasure. I do hope this video helped you out, and if it did, you'll be very interested in checking out my other Kingdom Come Deliverance guides that I've already done. Links to them can be found down in the description. Now, down there in the old description, you can also find links to my social media. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Now, if you would like to support the channel in a more personal way, you can become a heroic patron on Patreon. As I'm sure you know, all of my time and energy goes into making these videos that I create for you to enjoy, so your support is most appreciated and welcomed in any and all forms. So thank you for watching, thank you for supporting the channel, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there soon.